Hey Lashy Kids and Driving Mutants, I'm Lady Shasha, Mistress of the Snark. And as I promised, I'm bringing back Sci-Fi Saturday. I had intended to continue with Space is the Place, but after I recorded my review for Karen, I happened to watch Double Toast's review for Karen, and they mentioned this movie called Abar, the first black Superman. And then they played this clip from the trailer. Mabel, get a hold of yourself. You'll never live in that house in peace. I'll burn it down myself before I let you live in this community. Get your black hands off of me. So you know I had to turn the camera back on and talk about this. It starts out with a small rally with a speaker talking about corrupt politicians. He's advocating for cleaner, fresher markets, improvements to schools, and better access to jobs as well as people uniting to improve their neighborhood. Then we meet the black family that's moving into the neighborhood. And we meet the Karen in this. And the Karen in this is so over the top. She makes the Karen in the Karen movie look subtle. There's a meeting with the homeowners association and it's at this point that I realize that whoever made Karen watched this movie and was somewhere in between inspired or ripping off this movie. The family is comprised of a doctor, his wife, their daughter and their son. The title character, A Bar, is an activist and a crusader. I'm not making that up. He actually calls himself a crusader. Abar helps the family fend off racist attacks from their neighbors. There's a conversation between Abar and the doctor. Abar feels that the doctor is a bougie black man who isn't quite down for his people. The other star of this movie is the house and its decor. Look at these semicircle couches and this red room. It's like a time capsule of that time period. There's another character named Mr. Dudley who cannot be trusted because he says the blacks and that's a dead giveaway of a black person that's a little bit of a trash panda. The blacks. We don't say that. We, do we do we say that? We don't say that. Nobody says that. This movie has higher stakes than Karen in that there's an incident that involves the murder of a child. I won't say exactly who because I don't want to spoil the movie. I only mention that factor because it is a catalyst for the doctor to continue his experiments. Lest we forget that this is also a science fiction movie. Abar becomes a part of one of his experiments and he drinks a serum that turns him into a superhuman. Abar ends up having the superhuman ability to change people's behavior. He's able to do a lot of other wondrous things, but this is the most interesting aspect of it, is his ability to change human behavior. For example, he makes winos no longer alcoholic. I won't tell you all the other things he does because, again, spoilers. And I don't want to spoil it because this movie is a must-see. It also has some unintentionally funny moments, as a lot of movies from the 70s do. What happens to the racists at the end of this movie? Well, you just have to watch it to see how it ends. I will say for one of them, this ended the exact way I rewrote that Karen movie to end. How about that? Anyway, I thoroughly enjoyed this sci-fi social commentary movie from the 70s. At the time of this recording, a Bar The First Black Superman is available to stream on Tubi. I thoroughly enjoyed this sci-fi social commentary from the 70s. I actually think this would make a great double feature with Petey Wheatstraw, The Devil's Son-in-Law, which I will be reviewing in the future. But like I always say, don't take my word for it. Watch it for yourself. Just because I love something doesn't mean you won't hate it. And just because I hate something doesn't mean you won't love it. Have you watched A Bar The First Black Superman? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments. Until next time. Hey, did you know that I work for tips now? You could hit me up on Venmo or Cash App. Well, I'm happy to receive the type of coin that jingles. I love to receive the type that folds. Somebody show these people where the subscribe button is. They don't know what they're doing.